good afternoon and welcome to the Gasworks Field for today's match of Vintage Baseball. We will be playing by the rules of 1858. Those are the, that was the game that was played by gentlemen. It was played in the spirit of good sportsmanship and merely for the athletic activity. It's a reenactment, um, kind of a display of what baseball looked like in one of the earliest forms that we know of. Um, we play by the rules of 1858. Um, those are some of the earliest adopted rules. We're part of an organization called the Vintage Baseball Association. There are hundreds and hundreds of teams across the United States. We play a, as far away as Columbus, Ohio. We play in Decatur, Illinois, uh, Danville, Illinois. We'll be playing up in Des Plaines uh, in about a month at the Methodist Campgrounds, Michigan. We play teams from around the Midwest, and uh, usually the 1858 rules, sometimes 1860. There's a number of the differences uh, between 1858 and modern baseball. Probably the most significant is the fact that the pitcher's job is to put the ball in play, and then it's his job to let the batter hit it. It's totally unlike modern baseball. There's no called strikes, no called balls. Um, you're out if the ball's caught on the fly or one bounce. Balls are made of one leather piece, uh, not two stitched together, but one leather piece. Uh, they're slightly larger than a modern day baseball, slightly heavier, slightly softer. Uh, no gloves, you don't play with any gloves. Um, and obviously we were, you know, period correct, uh, the types of uniforms that the, the teams would have worn at the time. The batter would, uh, was called the striker back then. Uh, positionally, the, uh, the catcher was called the behind. Um, the shortstop type position was called the rover. Um, the center fielder was called the midfielder. Um, if, you, uh, if you're trying to encourage somebody to, uh, to run fast, you would say, uh, you'd tell them to leg it out. Leg it, leg it, leg it, leg it, leg it, get there, get there, get there. Come on, on. The Blue Island team was uh, a bunch of people that I'm friends with, uh, a bunch of people from around town. Um, I think just about everybody on the Blue Island team was e is either from here originally or most everybody lives here. Um, uh, the Grinders, they're from uh, from Hobart, Indiana. It's actually a team that um, I played with for about 12, 13 years. That's how I got my start in the game. And uh, when I moved back to Blue Island from Northwest Indiana, um, this is one of the things I wanted to bring with me. 